Perfect guitar number one has to stay in tune. That's that's like a prerequisite. If I'm bringing one guitar to a gig, it's going to be a humbucking guitar that I can coax good clean tones out of, as well as warm fat sounds for soloing. And I also like to be able to have a tremolo, not a dive bombing thing, but just to give contrast and depth to the sounds of chords. A very specific neck shape is crucial to me because I think that it just allows me to bend better, to get better vibrato. And after a long time of playing PRS guitars, I think we've arrived at that point where I have the one perfect guitar for me. Well, the DGT came out of of the McCarty model. And the McCarty model came out of a guitar that I special ordered in the early 90s. We tweaked that guitar for years, and at some point, there were so many different tweaks that I was doing to that guitar. Paul and I discussed, you know, we sh maybe we should do your guitar. So that's kind of where it all started. When Bev and Jack called me about doing an SE, I was thrilled because I get emails weekly from people all over the, of the world saying, I would like to have one, but I just can't quite get there. And so the idea that we could come up with something for people like that was really exciting. My second thought was, there's no way they can do it. And I'm not gonna do it if it's not a guitar that I would play. So that was sort of the criteria that we laid out. That's how we got started. I think that I'm very, very, very picky about uh, the guitars that I play. I have a 2010 Gold Top that I play probably more than any other one. And I could have chosen between any number of guitars, but that one, there's something I've just bonded with and it's hard to put into words. And we started this process where we had Zoom meetings and I would sit there with my Gold Top and Jack would say, measure at the nut measure at the first fret, measure the depth at the seventh fret, measure the depth at the twelfth fret, measure the width here, measure the width at the end of the fingerboard. All these things were documented, you know, with, with, with a good set of calipers to really hone in on the exact shape of that neck. It's exactly like my 2010. The fret edges feel exactly the same. Everything feels the same. Also, with the way these guitars are made, the consistency that's available is amazing. And so to start with that guitar and have this result is, it's pretty, it's, I'm kind of blown, my mind is kind of blown. So just like the core DGT, this uh, bridge volume, neck volume, and master tone, which is also the coil tap, and then a three-way toggle mm -hmm. switch. And between that, covers everything, everything I need to do. I'm thrilled with the pickups and I walked in here and the minute I start playing, it's like, this is my guitar. Here's, here's full humbucking. And here, here's with the coil tap. Humbucking on the neck. So it's very, it's very subtle, but that is good for me. Subtle is good. I don't want too dramatic a change. There, 
are so many things that, like little things that we spec into this guitar. I'm very specific about the angle of the bevel, uh, the amount of bevel on the fret edges. The tremolo stays in tune as well and sounds just as good. I mean, there's nothing about the core model that we didn't bring over. I could take this guitar on any gig I do, any session I do, and feel confident that it's, I'm not compromising. Uh, my baby, this is the 2010 DGT that we measured the neck in incredible detail. You know, I love fancy guitars, but I'm more of a meat and potatoes kind of guy, I guess. And I, I just like the sort of simple elegance of, of the gold top and moons. And if you look at both guitars side by side, they're pretty darn close. <laughs> I'm incredibly pr proud of the guitar. I do think that it's, it makes this guitar available to so many more people. Learning guitar is hard and just to have an instrument that is well made and the neck shape is is comfortable, that plays in tune, that has good wood in it. I think all those things are really advantageous. I also feel like that if the guitar inspires you, you're gonna practice more. And I, I would not put my name on it if I wasn't gonna play it. So I'm, I'm really thrilled that it will be available to more people. R really excited about it. I think that PRS has distinguished themselves in the ability to make a guitar at this price point. So I hope that the minute someone picks this guitar up, they think, yeah, this is it, and I can play this, and I can make good music on it, and write songs on it, and it will serve me well.